Americans in the center of the pool. Now two Italians in this one, Serena Scipioni in lane number one next to her teammate Guila Gadola. The Russian swimmer Alexandra Agafonova is in between the Italians and the three Mexicans, Patricia Valley, Harie Viviana Echeves Perez and Fabiola Ramirez. They're the three Mexicans. Vera Tam saw her swimming an excellent breaststroke for Germany. And Kayla Wheeler, the only swimmer in the S2 class. And we have two world record holders in this one. Patricia Valley in lane number four. And that swimmer, Kayla Wheeler, in lane number eight. Kayla Wheeler, the record holder in the S2 class. That stands at a time of 130.57. Patricia Valley's record was only set this year. And that stands at a time of 56 seconds dead. There's Kayla Wheeler, can she challenge that record time? One minute 30.57. It is a combined event. So there is only one set of medals, but we will keep our eye on Kayla Wheeler up there in lane number eight to see if she can get close to the world record that she holds for the S2 class. So the world record holder for the S3 class, Patricia Valley. She is stretching away at the front of the field. Her two Mexican teammates either side of her. In fact, it's not. It's Agafanova from Russia in lane number three, challenging for the bronze medal position. Chavez Perez in the white cap there of Mexico, clear in the silver medal position at the moment. But Patricia Valley, she's an experienced swimmer. A number of world championships she has done, certainly since the late 1990s and she's going to come in for gold there Patricia Valley takes it 57.95 a great time for Patricia Valley and her teammate Achevas Perez is going to get the silver medal 107.40 with Agafanova the bronze medal for Russia Patricia Valley she was a champion in Eindhoven three years ago she has retained that title Again, the medals go to Mexico in gold and silver position. Achevis Perez getting the silver and Agafanova the bronze. And that reverses the positions that they finished in the 2010 World Championships. Kayla Wheeler from the USA, the lowest class swimmer coming in here. She's not going to challenge her record of 130.57. Touches the clock, 147.6. In fact, it's an America's record for Kayla Wheeler. So Kayla Wheeler getting a fast time, but Patricia Valley, well, she wasn't ahead from the start. Agafanova and Achevas Perez starting from the blocks. They got a better start than Patricia Valley, as you would have expected. But once we got underway into the swim, the experienced campaigner Patricia Valley forged ahead of the two youngsters 20 year old Achevez Perez and the 19 year old Agafanova and Patricia Valley touching clear in first position almost 10 seconds ahead of second position Achevez Perez just coming into shot now and Agafanova similar disabilities both finishing this 50 butterfly with their heads. Nagafanova in third position. But Patricia Valley using her arm to great effect. And there's Kayla Wheeler. Not much function at all there in both her legs and arm. No function whatsoever. 
And that good arm, so to speak, is also has an impairment. And she comes in now, touching in 147.60. Kayla Wheeler. And America's record for the S2 class. Just waiting for the confirmed result. We do have a disqualification on the scoreboard that we can see. But it doesn't affect the middle positions. In fact, two disqualifications are being listed on the board. But the top three look like they are safe and confirmed in their medal positions. Patricia Valley, we were talking earlier in the week. But I think she she certainly swam in the World Championships, the second World Championships IPC swimming had in. 1998 in New Zealand. She may well have swam in the first one in 1994 in Malta. Very few swimmers who have swum in all the IPC World Championships. Sasha Kindred from Great Britain certainly is one. Patricia Valley may well be another, but there are not many left. And they've been around for a number of years. And still going strong. Sasha Kindred, a gold medalist, and we've just seen Patricia Valley, also a gold medalist. Patricia Valley, just about hopefully being confirmed. These results, we still haven't got the official result yet. We do have two disqualifications. And hopefully, there will be no others for us to concern ourselves with. So, I repeat that the medal ceremony for event number 148, the men, the 200 meter individual men, the SM7 will be held right after. Swimmers that we are looking for disqualifications. Looks like it's lane one and lane six as we appear on the scoreboard. Doesn't affect the medal possessions. Patricia Valley, Fiana Achevis Perez, and Alexandra Agafanofa. I'm not sure what the delay is exactly. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the timing system is not going to delay us any further. I'm just waiting for those results. Of course, it had to happen on the final night. Murphy's Law, as they say, Paul, we've had such a smooth week, really. That's all happening tonight. And the officials just deciding exactly where to put quite a number of uh, medal ceremonies. I've just been handed the latest sheet. Well, even with the slight delays, it's still a party atmosphere here at the Jean Drapeau facility. We hope you've been enjoying the live action here, and we hope that you will join us again over the years at paralympicsport.tv. And, of course, you can still send us your thoughts on Facebook or Twitter. Paralympic sport continues to grow year on and year out. <laughs> www. 
paralympicsport.tv. Go, Amy, go. I can read that. The times on the scoreboard are official. Congratulations to Patricia Valle from Mexico, world champion for the women's 50 meter butterfly S3. Ellie Simmons, top left hand corner of the screen there. Well, she has a superstar face. Relax, young lady, now in the stands with friends from around the world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome to the pool deck the competitors for the finals of event number. Well, there we have three disqualifications. Dear, dear, dear. SM14. Valley the gold, Agafonona, the silver, Tam, the bronze. But three disqualifications, very unfortunate.